Welcome to the 4-Minute Miracle, a really quick overview of the incredible power and simplicity of the new and improved Focus software. Let's say I'm a manager for a national electrical distribution company. The company's doing well, but I know we can do better. I want to see whether there are any new opportunities I can uncover. Here we have the main Focus dashboard, which of course is completely customizable. I have it set up to give me some really useful big picture information. Year-to-date sales are nearly 15 million, last month's sales 2.2 million, with profit year-to-date 4.7 million, an excellent result. Switching to my sales summary dashboard, I can immediately see my list of sales reps and data on their collective performance, but I can also drill down into a single rep. I want to analyze Harry Allen's performance, one of my key sales reps. By clicking on Harry, my dashboard will update accordingly. I can see the gauge is in the red zone. Harry is behind budget, so I need to investigate some more. To do this, I'll leave the dashboards for a moment and go into the main focus analysis screen, where I can see all my data, drill into it, and follow my train of thought. First, I'll check my period range. The default set is calendar year to date, but I can easily change that here with the period button. I can look at a single quarter, rolling 12 months, current month or fiscal year to date. I can even set a custom period on the fly. For now, I'll hit reset and go back to my default calendar year. Now, we've been looking purely at value, but I can view the data from many different perspectives. From the functions menu, focus gives me a whole range of options. I'm going to select margin and I can see the results change instantly. I can now see that even though sales are up, margins are down on last year. I'll make a note to discuss that with all my sales reps. Sometimes this can seem like data overload, so to overcome this, I can chart any data on screen. I click the chart button and simply select the type of chart I'd like, and I can very easily make other adjustments and my chart will update instantly. But let's get back to the issue at hand, Harry's performance. I want to break down the data into more detail to get to the bottom of this issue. I'm going to use these pillar buttons on the left, which sort the data into logical groupings, such as customers, products and sales reps. I want to know how Harry's customers are performing in the southeast. I select region and then southeast. Now if I click on the sales reps button, only reps who sell in the southeast region will appear. I want to focus on Harry, so I select him. Now when I click on the ship to button, I can immediately see Harry's sales to customers in the southeast. Very simple. If I want to compare this year to last year, I can easily do that with variance mode. BHF Direct, for example, purchased 110,000 this year and just over 95,000 last year, an increase of 14,600 or 15%. I'm going to sort by variance to look at the biggest differences. The positive variance shows some customers are up versus last year. Great. But if I sort in the opposite direction, I can quickly see the customers that are down. I might want to review these with Harry. I can also focus on a single customer. For example, I can select Helen O'Grady Drama Academy. I then click on Focus and I can see that they are down almost 50% on last year. OK, let's look into which products they're buying and perhaps equally importantly, which they're not buying or have stopped buying. These products are highlighted in green. I like to think of these as opportunities. If I sort by variance, I can see which products are down the most. I can see that there are a whole range of products that have a negative variance. This could be one of the reasons Harry is behind budget. I'm going to email this to Harry. He'll see the same screen I'm seeing so we can have a chat about these new opportunities I've discovered.